Hi everybody, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can add more night vision goggles, uh, night vision head straps, tactical helmets that can take the night vision goggles, 9 volt batteries and the uh, 1PN51 night vision scope to your DAISY private community server on PlayStation, Xbox or PC. Um, so, as you probably know by now, in order to adjust the quantities of things that spawn in on our server, we need to adjust the types.xml. If you're new to this, then what you want to do is you want to go over to your server. This is an Nitrado server. You want to go into the file browser. You want to find the missions folder. Um, it's quite near the top on console, but you've got to dig down a little bit further on PC. Go into the map Chernerus Plus for Chernerus Enoch for Livonia. Go into the DB folder and in there you want to find the types.xml folder and you want to download that. You want to make a backup in case you make a mistake and then you want to open it up in your favourite text editor. Um, in this case I'm using Notepad++. One of the trickiest things when you're adjusting uh, the quantities of items is to know what those items names are. So I've listed them here and I'll put them in the description below the video. We've got NV goggles, NVG head strap, MIC 2001 helmet, battery 9 volt and Kazur optic. So let's have a look for the NV goggles first. So let's go to the top of the types file. Let's do control F. Let's put in NV goggles and let's find the first one. So here we go. So NV goggles. So normally on a vanilla server, only five of these babies would, would spawn in. That's the nominal value, five. Minimum of three. Um, they're only counted in the map though. So as players uh, pick them up, um, actually are these vanillas? Vanillas, yeah, these are vanilla files. Uh, as players pick them up, then other ones should spawn in. But that's not many. There's quite a needle in the haystack file. Uh, five they spawn in military locations where weapons would spawn in tier four and tier three places so that means up to the northwest on chernerus and we're looking at chernerus files here so if we wanted to increase the amount of night vision goggles let's say we took it up to 10 and then we changed the minimum say to seven um, and i guess what the other thing you could do probably is you could if you copied tier 3 and pasted in tier 2 instead let's just line it up that would mean they would uh, spawn towards the mil middle of the map as well nice and easy um, and then actually just above that one you've got the NVG head strap so we only have 10 head straps a minimum of 5 um, these, these actually now what's interesting here is that they're categorized as tools in military locations in tier three and tier four. So one of the things you might want to do to make it easier to find them so that they spawn together head straps and dog um, and goggles, what you could do is if you change the category name of the head strap to weapons, they would now spawn in those sorts of places. And of course, you'd want to copy, let's do that properly. Copy the tier two over as well. Let's make sure that lines up. And let's change that minimum up to seven. So there we go. So we've increased the number of night vision goggles, goggles increased the night vision head straps. So the helmet that can take the night vision goggles, oops, didn't want to do that, which is the tactical helmet with the night vision bit on the front is uh, it does have a rather odd name it's called the mitch 2001 helmet so let's have a look for that so let's go back up to the top let's do control f let's paste in mitch 2001 helmet there it is so on the whole of a vanilla daisy chernerous map only four of these helmets spawn in it's not many is it at all not many at all. So let's put that up to 10. Let's put the minimum up to 7. 
um, counted in the map, that's all. Military, again, classed as clothes, obviously. Um, only spawn in tier 4 locations, so that's right up into the northwest, sort of around Tizzy, northwest airfield, that sort of stuff. Probably more towards Tizzy, so to make them easier to find, let's paste that in there and let's put in tier 3 as well. And let's make sure that lines up. So that's good. So we've got more of the tactical helmets. Um, coming in and then with the battery 9 volt so there's no point having more night vision <laughs> if people can't find the batteries for them so let's just search for 9 volts here we go so 100 of those spawn in with a minimum of 80 so let's put that to 150 batteries let's put the minimum up to 120 um, and what we want to do here as well is, as you can see, so it's classed as a tool and spawns in on shelves in industrial and village places. But why don't we add another usage as well? So let's copy that out and let's paste in usage military. There we go. So that way we're going to get not next to the night vision scopes and night vision, sorry, night vision um, goggles and night vision um, helmets and straps, but in the tool sections of uh, military bases where you would find tools, you will then find hopefully the odd nine volt battery, which is very useful. Um, and then what else have we got? Now we've got the Kazua optic. So that is the uh, night vision, the, the 1PN51 scope that fits uh, the KAM, KA101, KA74, VSD, and the VSS. So, you know, they're quite good to... You can actually use the scope, just like the um, night vision, actually. Remember, with with the night vision goggles and the, and the night vision scopes, you don't have to wear them to use them. You c if you've got them in your hand and you turn them on, if you look through them, you look through them like you would look through binoculars. Um, so that, that can be quite useful. Um, so the night vision scope is a bit confusing because its name is Kazur Optic, which is very different, isn't it? So let's, let's have a look for that. Let's go back up to the top. Control F. Place that in. There it is. So in the whole of a vanilla Daisy Chernerous, um server you only get five so let's double that to ten let's change the minimum up to eight they counted in the map so where are they found and weapons on shelves military tier th two tier three tier four all right so they're quite common in terms of the location they can be found in plenty of locations in fact there is sometimes an argument that something that is found in many locations like this so military basically across the map apart from around the coast when there's only 10 of them, they'll actually be harder to find than, say, if you they were only in Tier 4 locations. Because, you know, if, they're all, if there's only 10 of them, but they're all in a Tier 4 location, they're going to be more concentrated in together. So, what you do when you're happy with that, you would just want to save that. And then you want to go back to your server. And you just want to upload the file on top of the existing one. And then restart the server. And that whole sort of respawn process will, will start to happen. Um, and you'll start to see more night vision goggles, more head straps, more tactical helmets, more, not, more 9 volt batteries, and more of the night vision scopes. There we go. Hopefully that's useful. With these videos, the ones where I talk about how to spawn in more specific items, if you've got any specific things you would like me to cover, please ask the questions in the description. Sorry, please ask the question in the, in the comment section down below. Just say, hi Rob, can you um, do a video on how to spawn in more whatever or anything to do with you know modding daisy put put it in there because i do have a big long list of videos and i do add the ideas to it um and then when i know how to do something or i've got the time that's when i'll do the video there we go anyway hope you found that useful if you did hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon